welcome back to another exciting video on our channel in this video we are going to talk about georeferencing of carousel map using ArcGIS this is going to be an absolute thrilling experience as we unveil the mysteries behind the complex geographical mapping process in this map sequence in order to georeference your carousel map using ArcGIS you will need to have few things in order Firstly, you need a scanned image of carousel map that needs to be in an image format such as .jpg or .png. Secondly, you should understand the underlying coordinate system of the carousel map that you want to georeference. Lastly, you should have a good understanding of ArcGIS software tools and functions. Once the OGI is open, select blank map and click OK. To save this empty project, click save button from the toolbar menu in a project directory with a valid file name and hit save. Once empty project is created, import the area of interest with a suitable reference coordinate system into the ArcGIS and add base map by clicking add icon and, and select image and now find out the location of the village to do so open the Google Earth Pro and search by the village name uh, in this case, we have the village called Periya Kodivari. Hit the Periya Kodivari in the search dialog box and hit search. The location of the village with coordinates at the bottom of the Google Earth Pro is located. Other physiographic units such as roads and rivers which can be compared with the carousel map First step in the georeferencing process is to add your scanned images of the carousel map to ArcGIS. Once you have opened the ArcGIS, click on Add Data and select the image files of the, your carousel map. In layers, double click on the image that will be georeferenced. In layer properties, navigate to the display settings and set transparency to be 70% and click OK. This helps in finding ground control point with respect to the points in carousel map. In order to adjust the carousel map with reference to the scale of the base map, click the georeference from toolbar menu and click fit the display. Now that you have your carousel map and your base map properly loaded, it is time to start adding control points. Control points are easily identifiable distinct features in both your carousel map and base map, such as road intersections, buildings or well-defined landforms. You will need to add several control points throughout your carousel map. 
These control points will later be used to determine the mathematical equation that will be used to transform your castle map to the correct geographic location. After setting up your control points, it's time for the next step, which is matching the corresponding points from your castle map to your base map. You will need to select the control points you added in both the castle map and the base map respectively. Once the points have been selected, you can use the georeferencing tool to spatially adjust the castle map to the base map. To do so, navigate to georeferencing in toolbar and select update georeferencing. Unlike earlier, in this case, 
my first drone point added was wrong. When I remove the point from the view link table, my image layer disappears. In such cases, I remove the image from layers and delete the XML and OVR file from the image directory. Then import the image back in layers, then can continue the same process for further. We have successfully drew reference to the three parts of the village. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. In next tutorial, we will be learning about how to match these three parts together and create a single map file.